Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDC. So today we are doing something drastically different. We're having a meal together. So if you want to know what this is, why I'm doing this, and my thoughts on it, come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So I am trying something very new today and I hope you guys enjoy it because I am, I'm kind of super excited for this one. So uh, I like the Mountain House meals and uh, MREs and different things like that. And I use them uh, as prepper items. And that's something that I really haven't talked about on this channel, but uh, I'm not a, a super prepper. Um, like we're not, you know, crazy prepared for all kinds of things, but we are uh, generally prepared. Like we're prepared for certain things and certain situations and uh, we're prepared to take care of ourselves for, a, you know, a, a, a period of time. Uh, we don't even have a date on it, but a period of time if things were to go south and, you know, going to the store and picking up, you know, food and, and um, supplies was not an option, then, you know, we would be okay for a period of time. And I think that while you can be in the EDC world and not be a prepper at all by any means, um, definitely the two are not connected they are connected as well, if that makes sense. And so uh, I kind of view it as if you're, if you're in the EDC community and, and you call it, you know, everyday carry and, and you know enough to know the, the terminology and the words, then you are, you're prepared, you know, for different instances and circumstances that come up in a day. You know, that's why in the EDC community, you know, we carry a knife. So we're ready to open up an Amazon package whenever it arrives, um, you know, and other uses knives have. Uh, we carry a flashlights because uh, we know that they come in handy and sometimes having a flashlight is uh, much better than not having a flashlight. And we use them, so we carry them. And everyday carry, you know, spurs on from there. Uh, notepads, handkerchiefs, multi-tools, pens, all these items that we keep on us and obviously different variations and different days that changes, but we carry these items so we are prepared. And um, I like to view that as, you know, we're prepared for instances that happen in a day, you know, with our EDC, both on person and in pouches and bags that we carry. We're prepared at home as well for different circumstances and situations that may arise. And that might go, you know, drastically different for each of us. Some of us, you know, might have enough food to get by, you know, for a little over the weekly grocery trip. And others might have, you know, three months or a year's worth of food, you know, stocked up. But I think there's a little bit of prepper in most EDCers. And maybe there's a lot of prepper in a lot of EDCers. But I think it, there is a common thread there of being prepared and whether that's situationally for the day or situationally in the big picture for the long haul. And we do, we do prepare in this home. You know, we, we have items and, and things to, to uh, help us out if things go south. And one of those items are food. We like food. And while we do have canned goods and rice and beans and things like that stored up, we also have some of these mountain house meals ready to go as well as like some MREs and some other, you know, freeze dried food. And we do that, uh, like this, you know, feasibly is very expensive if you were to have a three month supply for your family of mountain house foods, but they are nice and they are quick. So, you know, great little items to, you know, add your boiling water to and you're ready to rock and roll. So I thought I'd go through a series of trying out these types of foods, like not necessarily getting into what should you prep and what should you have and how much should you store? Cause I think that's different for everyone and your situation is not mine and vice versa. But if you were to have these foods on standby, these mountain house meals, MREs, uh, et cetera, et cetera, how are they? How do you prepare them? What do they taste like? Uh, if, if you came into a situation where you were forced to eat these for an extended period of time, is that okay and even doable? 
And so I decided I'm going to start going through mine and I'm going to grab the different flavors and literally flavors this time. I use that word a lot for colors and variations, but this time different flavors and uh, just eat them on camera with you and let them know, let you know, you know what I think uh, for, for me, is this a really good item and do I need to buy, you know, a box more or is this one, it'd be nice for change, but I'm not going to want to eat that all the time. And so this is the Mountain House Chicken and Dumplings. And so back here on the back, we see that too. I know I will make these with you in the future if you want me to. And maybe that's another thing I could do is different ways to boil water. Like, you know, use my stovetop for one and use my water boiler for one. But maybe I boil water on an open fire or use, you know, different stoves and stuff. So let me know if you want to see me cook one of these. But I went ahead and made this. I just boiled water on my stove. This one uses uh, one and a third cups water. Uh, you take out, you open this up and inside is an oxygen absorber. You remove that. If you don't, you can remove it after, no big deal. But I boiled the one and a third cup water. I poured it into here. I stirred it and I zippered it closed. It does have a zipper. Uh, left it for five minutes, stirred it again, zippered it closed, left it a four minutes and it's been well over four minutes now. But this is still hot to the touch. So we are definitely ready to rock and roll here. This is uh, two servings um, and it is 300 calories for one, 600 for the bag. So for one person, this would be two meals. Or if you had two people eating, you would both get a meal out of this. And this is what the product looks like. You can see the peas and carrots in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's steam coming out of here. So this is definitely piping hot even after it's been sitting. And then there's kind of a yellowy mush is what is showing up on camera. It's yellowy mush to me too. Um, but it is, uh, you do have the peas and carrots in there. And there is some chicken in here. There are definitely chicken pieces and the actual dumplings themselves. So a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, oh, it looks like chicken and dumplings. I mean, eat, chicken and dumplings is kind of a mushy looking food in general. So uh, on here, I think I've got some dumplings and some carrots and peas or a carrot and pea. So let's see what the dumplings are like. That is really good, guys. Let's see if we can get some chicken in here. Try not to get ginormous bites so I can eat them and talk fairly quickly. So there's, there's a really good sized piece of chicken there. This is awesome. That is an awesome meal. Um, I need to go and buy like two whole cases of this. Chicken and dumplings, that is great. You could definitely add some salt or pepper if that's your jam. These do have a lot of sodium. They are a preserved food. So this whole bag has 1,700 milligrams, 850 per serving. It is high in sodium. So I would think twice about adding salt to this, but you could definitely add a little pepper if that's your jam. I'm not adding anything and I wouldn't like I, I will eat this as is that is delicious honestly if I'm going to go ahead and, and definitely buy more of these and if I go a day where I'm like it's like a whatever dinner night or I don't know what to eat for dinner and the boys have already eaten I will happily cook me up one of these I mean it took the time to boil water add it in and once you add it you got nine minutes until your food is ready that is delicious and I am using my light my fire spork so that came to use uh and i'm actually very glad i chose this i i chose this because if if you're putting this in a bug out bag or in your vehicle uh and this might be the utensil you have with you works really well i'm glad because if i would grabbed a normal metal spoon it would it would probably burn my mouth because that is still really hot even after you know 15 20 minutes that is delicious guys chicken and dumplings by mountain house excellent food to stock up on and if you're stuck in a survival mode or you know realistically you know you're you're hit by a hurricane or an ice storm and you're locked in the house and power goes out 
and you're able to still boil water, boil some water, pour it into here, and all of a sudden that crummy day you're having without power and all of your luxuries of life, it just got a little better because that is some delicious food. So uh, got my little water here. That's awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I will probably be doing a lot more of these. There's a ton of different flavors of Mountain House. <clears throat> There's also MREs we can look at. There are other brands. Uh, Backpackers Pantry makes some other brands of these. Let me know what types of uh, survival foods like this you want to see. And then also I can look into like the day tracks bars, the, the survival bars that you get, the lifeboat packs, different things like that. So let, let me know what you want to want to see me eat and test out and give you my opinion on how it is. I am extremely picky. I am extremely picky. Uh, people often say I eat like a toddler or that toddlers eat more than me. So if I like a food, that is really, really, really high ratings because I am super picky. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish my chicken and dumplings or at least half of this and then pass it off to my husband or my kid. So uh, definitely comment below. Do you like the chicken and dumplings? What's your favorite mountain house? What should I try next? And do you like the series? Do you want to come along with me for my taste testing survival foods? So comment below. Uh, do your thing if you want to like and subscribe. I won't tell you to, but I appreciate it if you would. And I will be back soon with new videos, maybe some food ones. So remember, EDC, EDC.